Funding for Not a Vampire is provided by viewers like you. Find perks and tiers at patreon.com slash not vampire. Thank you. You know those days where you just can't seem to bother? When opportunity knocks and you say in a defeated tone, no thanks. When even though there are people waiting eagerly to see what you do next, you can't help shake the feeling of everything being pointless. That, in the end, it doesn't really matter that others like what you do if you can't find the drive to produce. And that the fruits of production are ultimately meaningless even if you're told otherwise. These are the themes that persist throughout the work of Ben Saint. I read them, and it's like I'm reading my diary. Hearing my own reluctance to make videos or do anything I'm not forced to do echoed back to me. I fall into Magda's character from The Vapors not just because my whole life I've seen myself as a floof-haired recluse, but because I've literally reveled in bringing art to life, opening a door to my soul as I find passion again, only to pause and backtrack, as though I forgot that my art is bad and I'm inherently bad. And then, not wanting to admit to my failure, I let others believe that I never even tried then make myself vulnerable in front of them. As though hearing, no, it's good, would be too painful. Or when she just sort of gives up on her day. Just dropping to the ground, not wanting to put in the effort to at least go home to sulk. Feeling a strong desire to just go somewhere, get away from life, doesn't matter where, just any place that's not here then finding a hiding spot to just experience emotions. To give yourself a chance to breathe, only to remember that nothing will change because she won't actually confront the forces in her life making it so difficult. Eventually, dejectedly choosing to go back and scrape out another day because that's all there is to do, it seems. The people who are supposed to care not having any inkling as to what just transpired, and not really seeming to take seriously the warning signs. And then seeing myself reflected in his autobiographical work, The White Lion, being somewhere unusual, knowing you're supposed to be on an adventure in a far-off land. Hell, that's the whole reason to travel. But even when new, exciting experiences like the ones you came here to have literally guide you to them, there's just a sense of, nah. Like, not seeing the point in it, maybe assuming it won't be as great as it promises, maybe just feeling worn out from trying, maybe being reluctant to step outside of what's comfortable. Accepting internally that you won't be a part of interesting things, so you actively deny them when they come around. The inherent hopelessness of Sophia from The Champion, knowing life doesn't have to be this way while also feeling unmotivated to change it. Having access to profound abilities and knowledge that could drastically change the way you live, respecting those who attempt to use their strength for good, but being warmed down by hopelessness. Being convinced the only thing to do is to try to beat the system at its own game while perpetuating what makes you miserable by engaging in it. Believing you're right to not even try, while still hating yourself because you don't attempt to do something. Like, fuck. I started falling into this general hopelessness and self-sabotage hole myself, attempting to write the script. There was a vague desire to talk about someone who's quickly become one of my favorite internet people, a want to draw attention to his work and just reflect on how rereading it made me feel today. But I stopped at the first paragraph and almost gave up because I wasn't sure if it was worth it. If I could say the right words to convey the depression that permeates his work and how cathartic it is to see myself reflected in short little episodes without being bogged down in some grand narrative. Like crap, I finally pinned down the best explanation I have as to what draws me to Ben's comics while trying to do the essay thing of giving examples to justify my point of thing good. Is it worth continuing this video, this script, fuck, even talking about his work when anything further I say might dilute my intended message? Jeez, I think I'm losing the plot. I'll try this again. I love Ben Saint's comics not only because they reflect a part of myself I struggle to express to others in more poignant and to the point ways than I could have thought to do, but also because the point behind much of his work seems to be expressing a feeling. Even where there is plenty of room for conventional, plot-motivated storytelling like The Champion, the dystopian magical society, the gladiatorial death game, the fight the man narrative, all come second in just exploring Sophia as a character and seeing how she's come to her conclusions about her life and self-worth. There doesn't need to be a cohesive story behind the vapors because each part is meant to just experience the people who are Magda and Vincent. It doesn't have to go anywhere because the idea is to soak in moments and feelings that are at least vaguely familiar to most of us. In Degrassi, I want to watch people grow and overcome their struggles. 
while I want that for Sophia and Magda, I'm just satisfied seeing them express ideas by existing that I can't properly convey myself. When he wants to, Ben can easily tell a compelling story complete with narrative beats that further a plot like in Slime and Punishment or Brunswick. But I guess the thing that stands out to me is how Ben can say so much with so few pages and minimal dialogue. Hell, the main reason I love media is because of how it facilitates me to experience a wide range of emotions in thousands of different shoes. It's why I keep returning my favorites, so that I can relive the experience of it. If this is something you do, or if you cherish the emotional experience of your favorite art, I encourage you to visit SingComics.com. I guess there's a debate that we could have about is art worth making, but at least in my anecdotal experience, I greatly value the art of Ben Saint. Did you like that video? Do you wish that you could have seen it two days earlier, or say get a video like this one on the topic of your choosing? Then you should check me out on patreon.com slash notvampire. In pledging to my Patreon, you'll be helping me to continue to make videos that hopefully you enjoy, and you'll get some pretty nice perks as well. We all win, I guess. And then to keep up with the things that I put out, you should check out this Discord invite link. You'll find a content stream of the things that I and my friends create, and you'll be able to chat me up there as well. Or if you want to, I'm on Twitter at NotVampire. Thank you very much for consuming this video, and until next time.